It's Friday, Food FAQers, and this Yay. is five of Kitchen Quickie Week. Yes. And this is your Love time to shine, Big Daddy. This is. This is. So it's Friday. Mm-hmm. We got the weekend now. And we are going to do the best autumnal thing that I personally love because it reminds me of like Halloween's coming up in a couple months. And we are going to do candied apples. Can I tell you a secret? Tell me. I don't think I've ever had a candied apple. That's ridiculous. (laughs) I'm sorry, but I'm going to try this. We're going to talk about this later. That's ridiculous. (laughs) Anyways. All right. So get your apple of choice. Now, some people prefer green apples because green apples are kind of tart and we're going to candy this, but whichever apple you want to use. So you're going to get red apples or green apples. What you're going to do is you're going to get three cups of sugar, a fourth of a cup of light corn syrup, one cup of water, and half a teaspoon of red dye. And you're basically going to put your sugar, your corn syrup, and your water, and you're going to get it to a boil. And the thing is, if you don't have a candy thermometer, you got to get this to 300 degrees, which is called the hard crack stage. And what you do is to determine if you're at that hard crack stage or not, Get a cup of water, and as this molten sugar, corn syrup, water mixture is just bubbling and bubbling away, you're going to just dip a spoon into this syrup mixture, and just going to let a drop drop into your cup of water. And when it drops in your cup of water, and you pull out that little piece of sugar, it should be a piece of hard candy. That's what it should feel like. It should feel like crumbly, hard candy. You bite it, and it just shatters in your mouth. That's when you know you're at the stage that you need it to be at. You're going to go ahead and skew your apples. You're going to take the mixture off the heat and then you're going to pour your, you're going to put your red food dye in Mm. and then stir your red food dye up. And now it's going to have that nice red color. And then you're going to take your apple and you're just going to dip it once, dip it twice. You can dip it a third time if you want. And then you're going to lay it on a piece of parchment paper that is on a baking sheet Mm -hmm. and you just let it dry. You got to give it about, about 10 minutes to dry. It's going to dry pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And then when it's done, Mari, you have a delicious candied apple. Kids so love it. Adults love it. It's such a great activity. I mean, yeah. do not let your kids touch the molten sugar, but it's such a great activity. Candy children. Yeah, candy <laughs> children. Let's not let's not not make that a thing. And so, but it's a lot of fun. And again, next month, as apple picking comes around, it's a great way to use up your apples. And it's just so much fun. So yeah. If you want to slice your apples up. And do it this way, too. You can do that also. Get more candy ratio to your apple. Yeah, like in my mind, I'm thinking, how am I going to make this? I think the most important thing to do is pre, like, have all your mise en place in place. You need that baking sheet, a sheet of parchment paper already yep. ready, all your stuff to make the candy ready, that glass of water. Everything has to be right in front of you. You cannot walk away from this, I think, right? Right. You cannot walk away from the sugar. It's, it's actually like kind of like a dangerous thing. You don't want to walk away from that sugar. Yeah. And that sugar is going to be molten, so yeah. we don't want to touch it either. No, but yeah, it's really going to burn. I've I've been burned by it. So, but enjoy it. I love this <laughs> recipe. I think it's so much fun. I like how you're like I've been burned by it, but have a great fucking right. Time. But like, have a go at it. See what you can do with this. Oh God, but I love fall. it. It's a it's a fall activity that I do love to do during fall time. Yes. I always start the fall. The first day of fall, me and my daughter make an apple pie. And I feel like we're going to incorporate this into our fall traditions, even if we live in Miami. I don't care. Do it. Yes. All right, you guys. This is Friday, day five of Kitchen Quickie Week. We hope you are loving this. We we can't tell you enough how much we love making these for you. So we drop do. us a line. Send us a message. Anything you need. If you want us to try something, let us know. We're down for trying your recipes also. Have a good weekend. Bye, you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.